So we have a lot of good things going. We just had a meeting with Mitch McConnell and the group, and we're working on a, a package of very positive things. We're getting some very good numbers. It looks like the numbers are going to be very good into the future. Uh, we're going to be very strong, starting with our transition period, which will be probably June, June, July. I think you're going to see some very good numbers coming out. And uh, next year is going to be an incredible economic year for this country, one of our best. Always paying respects to the people that have lost their lives. We always have to remember that, the people that have lost their lives. Uh, do you have any questions, please? Mr. President, where are you on funding to Michigan? A lot of people are concerned they're flooded out. They said that's the last thing they needed for a threat yeah. to come from the president. So we're looking at the floods. We have our people from the Army Corps of Engineers there. We have FEMA there. I spoke with the governor, Governor Whitmer, yesterday, and we have a very good understanding. But we've moved our best people into Michigan and our most talented engineers, designers, the people from the Army Corps of Engineers, and they do these things better than probably anyone anyone in the world. What about the funding, though? Did you threaten Well, we'll take a look. No, we'll take a look. That was unrelated to that. Uh, Russia and us have developed very good relationship. As you know, we worked on the oil problem together. Uh, I think we have a very good relationship with Russia, but Russia didn't adhere to the treaty. So until they adhere, we will pull out. But there's a very good chance we'll make a new agreement or do something to put that agreement back together. But whenever there's an agreement that another party doesn't agree to, you know, we have many of those agreements around the world where it's a two-party agreement, but they don't adhere to it, and we do. When we have things like that, we pull out also. That's why with the arms treaties, if you look at the arms treaties, we're probably going to make a deal with Russia on arms treaty, and China will be maybe included in that. We'll see what happens. But we have a lot of things. But when we have an agreement, when we have a treaty, and the other side doesn't adhere to it, in many cases, they're old treaties, old agreements, then we pull out also. So I think what's going to happen is we're going to pull out, and they're going to come back and want to make a deal. We've had a very good relationship lately with Russia, uh, and you can see that with respect to oil and what's happening with oil. What do you think about Michael Cohen getting out of jail today? I didn't know that. What do you think about it? I didn't know it. Nope, I didn't know it. Say it. Isn't this recall going to make things worse with Russia? Increased tension. Now, I think that we're going to have a very good relationship with Russia. I think that uh, if you look at what happened with oil, where Russia, Saudi Arabia, and us got together, and we saved in our country millions of energy jobs, and you see oil now is solidifying. So it's the best of all worlds. We're saving the energy jobs, but our drivers have a very low gasoline price. Well, I don't know. We're going to look at it. A lot of people have asked me that question. Uh, I want to get our country back to normal. I want to normalize. One of the other things I want to do is get the churches open. The churches are not being treated with respect by a lot of the Democrat governors. I want to get our churches open, and we're going to take a very strong position on that very soon. Masu, yeah. Including mosques. Including mosques. Yes, I wish them well. Very well. Go ahead. Talk about the AstraZeneca an, an award, a uh, billion dollars for 400 million doses of, the, of a potential new vaccine. How confident are you that one will be ready by the fall? Well, I think we have a lot of, uh, you have AstraZeneca, which is a great company, and you have others, Johnson & Johnson. We have a lot of things happening on the uh, vaccine front. On the therapeutic front, if you look at therapeutically, we're doing great. And on the cure front, which is the next step, I think we have tremendous things. That announcement I heard came out this morning. That's a very positive announcement in addition to all of the other announcements. We are so far ahead of where people thought we'd be. But therapeutically, it's very interesting what's going on in cure. So you're going to have a lot of big announcements over the next week or two. Sir, you said the funding to Michigan was another issue not related to the flood. Can you just assure people? Well, we're helping Michigan with their flood, and we have the people to do it. 
What about the funding there? You said federal funding for the uh, mail-in votes. We don't want them to do mail-in ballots because it's going to lead to total election fraud. So we don't want them to do mail-in ballots. We don't want anyone to do mail-in ballots. Now, if somebody has to mail it in because they're sick or, by the way, because they live in the White House and they have to vote in Florida and they won't be in Florida, if there's a reason for it, that's okay. If there's a reason. But if there's not a we don't want we don't want to take any chances with fraud in our elections. The, the Chinese parliament is poised to pass a national security law cracking down on Hong Kong. Are you aware of this? I don't know uh, what it is because nobody knows yet. Uh, if it happens, we'll address that issue very strongly. What about your plan for G7? So it looks like G7 may be on because we've done well. We're ahead of schedule and terms of our country and some of the other countries are doing very well. It looks like G7 will be on a full G7 and we'll be announcing something probably early next week. I, I can't hear you. You have your mask on. I can't hear a word. Uh, we'll be talking to you about it. I think it's another day. I had a two-week regimen of uh, hydroxychloroquine, and I've taken it, I think, just about two weeks. I think it's another day, so. And I'm still here. I'm still here. And I tested very positively in a, in another sense. So this morning, yeah, I tested positively toward negative, right? So, no, I tested uh, perfectly this morning. Meaning, meaning I tested negative. But that's the way of saying it. Positively toward the negative. Have you taken the antibody test yet, sir? Uh, no, I have not. Columbia University put out a report uh, in the New York Times today that 36,000 people would have been saved if you guys did social distancing measures just one week earlier. Do you believe that? What's your reaction to that? I was so early. I was earlier than anybody thought. I put a ban on people coming in from China. Uh, everybody fought me on that. They didn't want it. Nancy Pelosi, a month later, was dancing in the streets of San Francisco in Chinatown so that people wouldn't believe what's happening. And I don't even blame that. But I was way early. Uh, Columbia is an institution that's uh, very liberal. Uh, it's a, uh, I think it's just a political hit job, you want to know the truth. So do you want to have the G7 here at the White House or Camp David? We're going to have it. Uh, Probably at the White House and maybe a little combination at Camp David, but primarily at the White House. So if we do the G7, when that all comes together, probably it will be in D.C. at the White House. Okay? But there could be a piece of it at Camp David, which is nearby. Yeah. So, again, our relationship with Russia has improved greatly, especially since the Russian hoax have been, has been proven totally false and, and illegal, what they did. They, it was just, this was an illegal hoax, and they got caught. They got caught doing a lot of bad things, so let's see how that turns out. But our relationship with Russia has come a long way in the last few months. I think that the open sky will all work out. But right now, when you have an agreement and the other side doesn't adhere to the agreement, we're not going to adhere to it either. But I think something very positive will work out. What? The launch, the rocket launch on Wednesday? Uh, I'm thinking about going. Uh, that'll be next week to the rocket launch. I hope you're all going to join me. I'd like to put you on the rocket and get rid of you for a while. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, Steve. Thank you. Sir, you've asked to see the original 302.